Okay, welcome back to Crash and Burn RC. I'm Ken. Um, today we're gonna do like a cheetah print on a on a plane. Uh, piss a lot of people off that way. Um, and the reason I did that is because I picked up a cheetah print stencil. I think this is at Michael's, um, and it was uh, three bucks. Um, so if you ever look at stencils, professional airbrush stencils on the internet can range from 40, 50, 60, all the way up to 100 bucks and even more for the larger ones. This one here, three bucks, and it actually did pretty good. And the other colors I used was black. I used a black Createx opaque black. I used a Wicked Colors Burnt Umber and a, just a yellow. This is Spectra Paint Yellow is what I used for that. So let's check it out. All right, um, here we go. I was laying down the first uh, base coat of yellow fading it down and then we're going to start with the burnt umber and fade over that now kind of what you want to do is just make a a nice fade be able to see the brown be able to see a little bit of the yellow but you know leopards are mostly brown so and then you know white underneath their belly so you kind of want to you know try to make it look that way um here this is i left too much white here but it's all going to be fixed later now when we lay down our stencil i like to overhang the edges a little bit kind of makes it look more natural um and just place it where you think it looks good and just start spraying and here what i started doing was a light coat first but now on the edges right there where i'm pointing um you don't you want to make sure you don't have any overspray you can lay down some another piece of paper or something to stop the overspray or you can get real close and just gently fill in those uh, holes that are near the edges like that and then just keep spraying. And the reveal here on the first one. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it looks pretty good. I think it could have come out better, but I mean, it's not too bad. Then here, when you're lining up the stencil to do the next part, you want to kind of kind of blend it into the, to the one that you just got done doing. You know, just play with it until you get a nice blend. You don't want a big space from one area to the next. That's the key to that. And then once again, watch your overspray. And you want to point, that way I'm pointing is you kind of want to shoot away from the edge if you can, but you don't want to do it so much that the paint gets under the holes in the stencil. And um, okay, there's that one done. Next one, I think I did four all together. And that one, at this point, I started just kind of just blasting it with black. So right on the corner there, you can see one that's left alone. I'm just going to leave that one alone. You can spray over it if you want. I just left it alone. Um, and then just finishing up, make sure everything is nice and dark the way you want it. And then boom, that top of the wing is done. Okay, I have a vinyl cutter. I cut out some vinyl letters. And here what I'm doing is going over the edges with opaque white to begin with outlining it and what's cool about this is it's going to look like crap <laughs> right now but it ends up looking pretty cool in the end and here i'm finishing it up again the uh, other side you can see in the middle i had to cut out the letters the vinyl letters to make it work then i'm just going to go and um i really watered down the paint here with the light blue gets it kind of a transparent look and I just kind of filled it in. Now, here, can, here comes the problem. When I'm peeling off the letters. I didn't deaden the vinyl. It's super duper sticky. And you'll see I'm just ripping up pieces of foam. And, and the edges of the uh, paint job are coming out all jagged. So that's mistake number one for this, for this paint job. And notch right here. You'll see, boom, there's a big chunk of foam that came out right there. You can see the space. You see where it came out. But not not horrible, you know. And here, here's where the mistake number two. I forgot to do the aileron. So to fix the mistake, I'm going to have to uh, redo that fade because uh, it, that fade was headed into white, so the ailerons would have just been white and not looked right. So I'm just going to take that burnt umber and go back over um, the whole top of the wing and try not to get the paint on the letters. Darken it up so that we can start the fade on the aileron. 
So I'm going to lay down that yellow again. And then the burr number. You know, this is all, see, uh, now here's the problem. I'm trying to match it up so that I get the right uh, kind of depth of color, the right darkness to match up with the wing. And it doesn't look like it's going to work, but when I'm done, it's going to be okay. Because I'm going to go back over the seam. The seam between the aileron and the wing, I'm going to go back over with some burnt umber just to kind of make it look like, it's, you know, I did it all at once. And then lining up the stencil right there is important, too, because you want to follow the pattern that you had off the main wing, uh, have that go back down onto the aileron. So I got a little bit going right there. Then the rest, you can just kind of fill in. That doesn't make any difference at that point. So, see? The fade's looking good there, too. And did the other aileron. Um, did the top. Obviously, the bottom hasn't been done yet. So here I'm doing the uh, fuselage, just kind of showing a little bit of the of the uh, stencil. I remember to put the tail in there at the time. Here I go with the other side. And I got the tail piece right there that I don't want to forget about sticking in there. Oh, it looks like I forgot it at this point. So I got I to gotta backtrack, line the stencil up, and then blast it. Just make sure everything's lined up nice and neat, like it's going to be when you're done. And I think after using the stencil at this point, I was just blasting away. No more, no more being delicate with it. I think I ended up at the top right there. Yeah, the top of the tail, I ended up putting a couple more little things in here. And then, you know, taping it up. I don't like that tape, but it's what they give you, and I used it anyway. So if I had to do it over, I would just use regular packing tape. And then there it is. Um, all put. I think at that point it was all put together, all glued up, all put together. And now it's just awaiting all the electronics. Um, oh, and then this, this last portion I'm going to show you, what I forgot to kind of do is that I take that burnt umber and just go ahead and blast inside all the little holes, you know, that those, those uh, spots make. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. You see what I'm doing. Throw some burnt umber in there, and then it, it really makes it look real. I see on the uh, on the elevator on the lower left, there's a spot I missed. I wonder if I go back and fix that. I'll have to look at it to see if I completely skipped it. It's still there. <laughs> um, and this is showing a little bit more. I don't know why I put this much in there, but... There's a little more. Now you can see where on the crash and burn, the B, I had to cut the final letter. Okay, it's Sunday evening, and I finally finished up the uh, the whole little plane. This, this is what it looks like stock. This right here. This one I've been flying forever, and uh, it's time to replace it. But it's a perfect white flat foam, so it's perfect for painting. Now, let's check this one out. Okay, there it is. There's the finished project right there. We got it all done. I got my radio. The radio all hooked up. Everything working. Got the rudder. And what do we got for throttle? There. Yeah, okay, that thing's ready to go. So, uh... Next week, I'll put up a video of it flying, just a short clip of it flying. Because, um, you know, it's, I'm not really interested on the tricks I can do other than seeing how it looks up in the air. So we'll give you a quick clip of the maiden flight. You know, maybe all that work in two seconds goes right down and that ends it. So thanks for watching the video, guys. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks.